What is the one thing you shouldn't have googled? I discovered porn when I was 10 and I felt pretty weird looking at adults doing it so what did I do 10 year old me proceeds to look up porn for kids or kid porn good thing I didn't find any and just went back to grown up porn I'm surprised the FBI didn't come. When I was 9 I was exposed to my first experience with porn. It was tentacle rape where this one anon girl got ducked by her own hair. When I saw normal porn I was like, isn't there supposed to be 7 more of those? You set the bar too high too soon. Dude went straight to the hardest difficulty. That username though. Blue Waffle. Good damn it. For real. I was just about to write few years ago I saw a comment about a blue cheese or something which, when I looked up, turned out to be disgusting, but luckily I don't remember it, and you went ahead, and ducking dug out that repressed memory, smh, why you do this, here's your upvote. Two girls, one cup, unfortunately found that on a list of things not to goggle, truth be told, I'm too much of a curious individual lol. When that first appeared, and went viral, Google basically stuck to text based results, and if you were smart enough not to click the first result, and instead read descriptions found in the following results, you knew you never wanted to actually see that, so I didn't. If you turn off image and video search results in a regular web search, most searches are safe for your mental health. One man, one jar, yeah I'm 100% not going to Google that. Please don't. For your own sanity. Does it have something to do with a gentleman inserting things up his anus? Yeah then I believe it shatters in there. Degloving. Penises can be degloved. Internal screaming. Penis retracts into body. Pain Olympics. I still can't get that image out of my head. Why would people even do that? It's not real. Hoax. Do not google best gore. Damn. I did that once. Cream peas. I was really just looking for a recipe for a cream pie. I'll never get those images out of my head. Cream peas equals slash equals cream pies. I really learned that the hard way. But did you eventually make your cream pie? Back in my college days and 4chan, it was watch people die. I didn't go far, but there is one image of a child that was beheaded that sticks with me. There's a weird mix of shame and remorse and just the need to improve. Like how did this happen? How do I prevent it from happening again? I'm sorry this happened to you. Maybe if I do this little thing of kindness daily the world will get a little bit better. But it's all naive. I traumatized myself in 7th grade ma looking up how guillotine works. I can tell you the most traumatizing fact if you want. Is it the halfway slice that happened, like half the time? Map. Nah, it was the fact that, if you picked up the head, after it can still respond to questions for 7 seconds before they die. Carry tongue. Don't do it. You were warned. Well now I have to- I really regret looking that up. Anal 4. Brick flies through windshield. OMG the sound. I only saw it once, but I remember so clearly. Rose budding shudders. How tf is that a turn on? 9 over 11 footage in dispatch calls from PPL inside the tower. And images of windows on the world. And how many people in windows of the world lived. Answer. Zero eventually rabbit hole led me to finding vicarious trauma syndrome. TL. Doctor learned all sorts of stuff about 9 over 11. But gave myself stomach aches. Dude. That one guy in the tower making a phone call where you can hear everything, and then the building falls. I forgot about that. What's the thing with the guy stretching his ass? That was my biggest regret. Goats. There we go. I regret nothing. The fact that the US didn't get rid of the death penalty for minors until 2005 depresses me. It's a backwards, barbaric country and almost a failed state. That website with all the black box transcripts of crashed planes. I already don't enjoy flying. And that shit was grim. Granny Norma. I remember once getting baited by this with a meme. Yeah one of my friends knowing I would be curious told me not to look it up also HCD. Trypophobia. It really is disgusting to look at. And I think every human is trypophobic on some level. 
What is it? Basically tiny holes clustered together. It may not sound horrible as I describe it, but I really would suggest searching it up. The images are worse than you would think. Oh okay. I googled it. That's some wild shit. Thankfully I'm not too bothered lol the hand pics were something else though. Yeah you've just brought back memories for me lol. R slash in Tayskirt. I cannot describe the instant regret that was clicking on that link. Why did I click it too? I was a naive child when I googled blue waffle. Happy cake day. Regina K. Walters it'll haunt you and break your heart. Thank you. I have no idea who she is or what happened. So I'm now incredibly curious yet terribly afraid to google it. I rescind my thank you. Please describe so I don't have to google it. You know when a scredit sometimes has the risky click of the day. One you're not sure is real because it's so gross and vile. It can't be an actual thing. Someone linked a man ducking a dead cat using mayonnaise as lube. I thought it was so gross it cold and possibly be real. It was. There are some things you just shouldn't google. Ever. Everything you just said is words that should never go together. Ever. I'm sorry. Child skulls. Trypophobia. Google. Seriously I'm so stupid that I google google lol. Boomer. R slash Giro. Smegma. Osus Madurus. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.